Yes. So can you read the question for me? Yes. A man's age is three times his son's age. Ten years ago. Wait, wait. wait. So now, uh, so the process of reading question and writing something about it is like whenever there is a full stop or comma, you wait there and try to make sense of what it is written. So a man's age is three times his son's age. So let us see what you have written. So let a man's age be X. A man's son. Aman sends HBX very good. So let uh, let Aman sends HBX. Therefore, Aman's age is three x. Very good. Now read the question further. Yeah. Ten years ago, he was five times his son's age. Very good. Ten years ago. What does ago means? Before. Before. So let us write something about this thing first. A man's age ten years ago. So three x minus ten. But make sure you write in years. Okay. Here also. Do this correction. Yeah. Okay. A man's son's age three uh, ten years ago x minus ten. Uh, is it clear or should I zoom in a little bit? It's clear. Okay, fine. So x minus 10. So till this thing, it is clear, I guess. Let us go back and read the question again. So we were talking about uh, this last line. 10 years ago, he, he is Aman. Was means equals to 5 times. Times means multiply. Multiply. Sons age. So here they are not talking about anything. They are talking about uh, ten years ago. So we have to take both the ages, his and son's age, as ten years ago. Okay. So let us see what you have done. Is that? You have not written anything like that. So let me just write in terms of statement. Aman's age was five times son's age. Is this thing clear? Yes. What was Aman's age 10 years ago? Five X. Are you sure five X? I, I guess this was three X minus 10. From where you got from where you got this 5x, can you explain? Because they said that his age 10 years ago was 5 times his son's age. So, see, I understood. Did you get it? What I have used? I have used that statement over here. Aman's age equals to 5 times son's age. Yes. So, what was Aman's age? Three x minus ten. Five times. Times means multiply. What was sun says ten years ago? X minus ten. X minus ten. Okay. So can you tell me what will be the next step? We solve the brackets. Okay. <laughs> tell me. 3x minus 10 minus 10 equals to 5x minus 50. Very good. Can you solve this thing? Yes. Okay. Take few minutes and solve it. Okay. Tell me the next step quickly what you have done. Minus, um, sorry, 3x minus 5x, that is. Okay, so that means you are taking x terms together. That means 3, 5x to the other side. So 3x minus 5x. 
and what else? And then equals to minus 50 minus uh, sorry, plus 10. Very good. After this, then um, it will be minus 2x equals to 40. Minus 40. Whosoever is bigger. Sorry, minus 40. Yeah. After this. And then we take x, uh, sorry, minus 2 to the other side. Yeah. And it will become minus 40 upon minus 2. Very good. Because it is getting multiplied. Okay, minus 2 is getting multiplied with x. So it will go there and divide. So minus minus get cancelled. This will give us 20. So x equals to 20. But make sure you write the final statement. What was the question? Let us go back and look at the question. Find their present ages. Present ages means today's age. So that means their present age were x and 3x. So make sure you write the final statement. Therefore, Aman's son's present age is 20 years. Okay. Aman's present age is 60 years. Yeah, show the working. 3 into 20, yes. 60 years. Make sure you write the unit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Can you create a question like this with your parents okay so i will look forward to it that whether you are able to create such question with your age and your parents age maybe your mother maybe your father okay